What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna test a pellet gun at 300 yards. We're gonna try to shoot this Budweiser beer can here that I have set up. I'm gonna be shooting all the way from the other side of the property over there on the side of that hill. It's 300 yards and I will be shooting slugs, not pellets. So they have a better ballistic coefficient than a pellet so I could shoot a little further uh, down range with them. So let's get up to the top of the hill and see how accurate these modern pellet guns really are. All right, here we are at 300 yards. Target's way over there on the last hill. I got the Tacticam hooked up. We got the Element scope. And of course the Gauntlet 30. Olivia here is gonna be my spotter. Yeah, we got a little cheat sheet on how to set up the gun. So we're going 300 yep. yards. 300 yards. So let's max it out and then go back to zero. That's a quick. lot of elevation. Zero? Yeah. Okay. All right, and I'm giving it three for wind here to start off. Looks good, I'll spot you. Maybe we should have put this size of can out there. <laughs> Give yourself some more room. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's do it. Okay. okay, we're gonna be using 50 grain varmint knockers. Hollow points. These are pretty much the rounds I use for squirrel hunting. Coyote hunting. Yeah. Deer hunting and elk. <laughs> Okay. <gasps> let's see. Where is it? I see it. Oh, let's it. turn this on. You see it? Mm-hmm. You see it with your... Oh, you're looking through the binoculars? Yeah, I'm going to be spotting you. Yeah, spot me. I'm going to need it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Tell me Way when. out there. Okay, I'm going to fire up the first round. Ready? Yep. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see a thing, and that sounded very weak. <laughs> yeah, it did. So, probably really well. Here we go. Ready? Ready. Well, that's better. Okay. I think I hit low and to the right. Right? You saw so, that? This is far. 300 yards yeah, is no so joke. There is wind. Okay. I think I know what we need to do here. Ready? Yep. I'm gonna go up. Oh, over. Yeah, okay. that one went over. Too high. Too much sauce. And to the right still, so I'm gonna go over to the left even more. So left this way. I'll try that. Ready? Yep. Oh! oh that three is... Three rounds. Three rounds. <laughs> 300 yards. That's, That's crazy. It's really good for a pellet gun shooting slugs. That is so far. Like, it looks far in the freaking binoculars. <laughs> wow. That's all the way on the other side of the property. Guys, just <laughs> so you know, it's like basically eh, that's, over there. It's a Coke can or a, a Budweiser can. Half yeah, of the size so it's of this. half of this. That's, that's oh, amazing. that's a squirrel is done. Yeah. At 300. And the good thing about these air rifles is they're so quiet that even if you were shooting at a squirrel down there, you would have no idea what's going on. You yeah. would hear something around them and then you can just adjust. Yeah. And then by the third shot, you can shoot them. That's it. They don't run away because there's yeah. no noise. It's awesome. These, these air guns are really something else. They make too much sense. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Drink to that. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. You connected in three off. shots. Tastes good? <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> three shots this gauntlet has been so good at long range <laughs> that was my first time was that our first time doing 300 yeah 
At a can. Like, at a can, I've yeah. I've shot them at rocks at 300, but that's yeah, just Yeah, that's like, a confirmed hit. Yeah, that's, that's what's good thing about shooting these beer cans. It's like, you know if you hit it. And that made an explosion. So. Yeah, and it's just a Budweiser can, so who cares? Who cares? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know? it, obviously you got to see where you're hitting. I mean, we're shooting just, these are just the first rounds out of 300. It's not like we had a spotter target or yeah, like a or first a backing, initial. Yeah, yeah, backing, so. I mean, I'm pretty sure if we had like a couple more cans out there now that i know where to aim we'd be hitting them that'd be it they'd be done yeah i mean you could shoot cans at 300 yards with an air gun that's pretty amazing it is and for people who don't know about your setup do you want to give them a really quick walkthrough on what you did to it yeah pretty much just ordered this gauntlet 30 here from utah air guns or i don't know one of the air gun places um put this uh um Element optics. What is this? The helix. Helix. The first focal there. plane. Yep. And then I used um, the no limit scope mounts to elevate the scope a little bit to give me more for long range. Um, we got the Magpul bipods in the front. I also polished. I polished this here, the hammer, so it like works smooth. Drilled out the breech to accept slugs. Polished the barrel like a lot. Uh, worked the trigger pretty good amount because it see how it's like a hair trigger now mm -hmm. basically and then put a little rubber snubber on the front for vibrations to dampen it down a silencer right on the end to keep it real nice and quiet yep and um you know so. most of it's right here though <laughs> yeah. yep wow that's i did not expect that in like three shots i thought we'd be here three. for a minute i thought i was gonna have to go through like a couple clips yeah you already loaded up the other one where are the squirrels at <laughs> Shoot, if a coyote comes out at 300 yards over there he's done oh that's it that's a big him. target i could hit him in the head <laughs> <laughs> i'm shocked danny and i were literally just cruising around here i don't know if you can see um we we just it's such a nice day we're cruising come across this creek or what would you call this a wash a I think warsh. it's called a warsh. A warsh. <laughs> we, can't... Well, we, we pulled over. There's a bridge here. We climbed on the bridge and we see some fish down there. So don't yeah. know exactly what kind of fishies are in there, but we about to find out. We saw some big ones. So we're actually heading back to the shop to get the rods and then we're going to bomb it right back out here and use what we have to try and catch. We don't have real worms and we don't have any type of like bacon or bait like that. Bacon? Well, bacon catches a catfish. Catch me with bacon. <laughs> Any luck? No, there ain't nothing in here. <laughs> we gotta get back to work.